Right guys and girls, hello, and my name is Bit from Set3 Impasta. Today I'm going to show you a very quick combo tutorial slash tips with Luandries. Um, and this combo, again, we're just going to assume we're not going to get stopped. I will do some combos where we get stopped, we get hand trapped, we get interrupted. Um, but for now, I just want to show you what the combos are so you can practice. Right, and we're going to begin with two bricks, two very good bricks, and three playable cards. Now, map and a small bird, preferably Robina or Eglin, are probably the best starters of the game. And these two by themselves will get you full combo. You will end on an M pen and a Dreaming Can. But I want to show you what happens when you have a large bird to tribute as well. And for this example, I'm going to use uh, Mist Valley Apex Avion. But you can have M pen, you can have Snowl if you play Snowl, um, but not Riser because Riser has a mandatory effect to bounce things from graveyard and field. Um, so let's say we start off with map, we reveal our Robina to our opponent, and then we banish our Eglin. Okay, so Eglin's gonna get banished. And then what you do is you normal summon Robina, you go Robina 1, Eglin 2. So to add back Eglin to our hand, and with Robina, we're gonna search 2 can. And then we're going to use the effect of Robina to normal summon our Eglin. And Eglin is gonna search our copy of Empen to our hand. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tribute these two off and they get banished and we're going to summon our Empen. And then we're going to go Empen 1, Robina 2 because we've already used Eglin and what's going to happen is Robina's coming back to our hand, Empen stays banished and we are going to search for our copy of Dreaming Town. And then what we're going to do is we're going to normal summon our Toucan. And it depends where you normal summon them. I normally try to avoid these two zones because people can summon link monsters, anima, all that kind of stuff. You don't really want to deal with it. So try to just do it in the middle. And then you're going to have Toucan activate its effect to bring back your copy of Eglin. And now what you're going to do is you're going to normal summon your uh, Robina uh, using Toucan's effect. And you haven't actually normal summoned yet. If you were counting, that was one, two, three, four, and five. This is our fifth summon. <clears throat> now, what you can do is you can actually not use Token's effect to normal summon again and leave Rabina in your hand and you're safe from Nibiru. But a lot of people don't play Nibiru nowadays, but that does not mean you have to be, you don't have to respect the card. Let's just say you don't respect the card and you're an absolute mad lad. So you normal summon Rabina. And then you just stop there. Remember, you still haven't used your normal summon. You can either stop here and put map face down, or you can go ahead, banish these two off, and summon your copy of Apex Avion. And what that does, it leaves you at a floodgate and a negate. And also you can force a normal summon with your Dreaming Town. And also if they normal summon, you're gonna get your map effect. However, what I like to do is I play it a little bit safe and I just leave these on the field. So I don't even summon Robina, I just leave my Toucan. And what that does is it actually leaves an extra body for me to tribute on my next turn for either an Apex Avion or using Eglin, I can search out a copy of, if I can find him, a copy of Riser or actually just having another copy of Eglin Empen. So what this does, it gives you an extra body for the tribute, but it also gives you an option to go into these two in the next turn. And it totally depends on which one you want. It's totally optional and it depends on what your opponent is doing. However, let's just play this out and let's say your opponent activates some sort of normal summon or you want to force this out. So what you could do is you could activate it and then you literally normal summon Rabina. So this resolves goes to the grave, and then you resolve you let them resolve whatever it is that they've got, and then you resolve Rabina, and then you can search everyone's favorite card, the Barrier Statue, and then using Rabina you can normal summon your Eglin, and then using Eglin you can search out again. Your option is either one of these two. Um, at this stage, I like getting the second Empen because this is hard to get rid of anyway. This is even harder to get rid of when they got two. If they're Lightning Storm your board, I would recommend saving this. But anyway, get either one of these two and just go back into your combo. But for demonstration's sake, I'm gonna say 
and going back an M pen. So what you do is you basically tribute these two guys off um, and you get your M pen and then what you do is you trigger off two can to add back to hand. M pen would go ahead and search and it's your choice you can either get the advent or you can get the unexplored winds or actually if you really want and they've gotten rid of your map you can actually get another map as well remember m pen is any fluandery's spell or trap card and these are indeed spell or trap cards and what happens is the moment you normal summon him once his chain resolves this will resolve banishing itself and basically book mooning everything they have so let's just say for argument's sake we grab another copy of um we grab a copy of the map the wins, apologies. And then what you can do is you can get Toucan, you normal summon Toucan using Empen's effect, Toucan target your Dreaming Town to add back to hand. And then you have an option. You can use the extra summon to either tribute your two small birds to get the Apex Avion on the board, like so. You got two floodgates and a negate, or you can choose not to do this. And if your opponent's playing a deck where they rely heavily on special summons, you can just drop the uh, Barrier Statue or the Storm Winds, and that usually ends people's turns. So you have, literally from three cards, all this advantage. And that's the beauty about this deck. Everyone says that this deck is really linear. It's not. You've got so many different lines you can play, and there's so many ways to interrupt your opponent. Um, and that's why I really like this deck. So I'm really happy to share this combo with you. Uh, if you've got any improvements, uh, critiques or any tips, I would love to see them in the comment section below. Let's help each other become better players in this format and let's drive back the invasion of branded. Okay, thank you. Well, this was a quick combo tutorial from Bit. I hope you like it and thank you.